Well, flooding uh, rivers have already closed roads, overwhelmed land, and forced people around Minnesota to adapt. But many rivers are still waiting to crest. Meteorologist Joseph Dames has a look at when these rivers will max out. Turning water, coming from the St. Anthony Lock and Dam. The power of water and nature is very impressive. Capturing the attention of people who can't believe the Mississippi is roaring like this. I would say yes. Yeah, this is probably the highest I've seen the river. I've never seen anything like this. We checked this out a couple times every year. We've been out here over 30 years. This is amazing. A sight to see. But of course, water like this has additional plans. Overwhelmed with water, it's clear at the eye test that these swelling rivers are starting to flood. But many of the floodwaters have yet to crest. And when they do, what's next? For some, it's going to be an extended period of major flood stage. Take, for example, the St. Croix River in Stillwater, which is still projected to crest at two and a half feet above flood stage in the coming day and may stay there for over a week. The Crow River in Rockford topping off at four and a half feet above flood stage. In the Minnesota River in New Ulm, preparing to crest four and a half feet above flood stage. And this is uh, beyond belief. And while flood levels are expected to stay in dangerous territory, incoming rain, it isn't going to help. Minneapolis, Joseph Dames, WCCO News. With changing rain forecasts, river stage forecasts will also adjust. River projections only take the next 24 hours of rain into consideration.